So welcome to Ability Online Classes. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about MyCTOM. So before that, let us do a quick revision as usual. So in the last lecture, we discussed about subcutaneous mycosis. In subcutaneous mycosis, we have four types of fungal infections. What are those? Mycetoma, Promomycosis, Porotrichosis, and Rhinosporodiosis. So we discussed in detail about promomycosis, we discussed uh, what is porotrichosis, and we discussed about rhinosporodiosis. And the only thing that is left in subcutaneous mycosis is your mycetoma. So in this lecture, I'm going to discuss about mycetoma. So mycetoma means it is a chronic granulomatous infection which is occurred to subcutaneous tissues. Usually it will infect to foot and it also rarely goes to other parts of the body. So these are the images of your mycetoma. So they will form these nodules and these nodules will start secreting pus. So this, this infection was first identified in India. So particularly in Madura of Tamil Nadu. In Madura it was discovered. So that is why they are also used to call it as a Madura food. So your mycetoma infection is also referred as Madura food or Madura mycosis. Madura mycosis. So it is mostly seen in tropical countries and this is very common in Tamil Nadu. Okay. So this disease was first discovered by Gill in 1842 and from Madurai and South India and Carter in 1860. So Carter established the origin of this disease due to the fungus. So let us see what are the fungus that is responsible for uh, this mycetoma. Before that, let us see. Um, I know. Okay, so let us see about the pathogenesis of a mycetoma. So coming to the pathogenesis, so what exactly happens means this fungi will gain entry into the food by any trauma. So whenever there is a small damage to the food, this, uh, this fungi will start uh, gain entry into the food and it will go inside the food. After, after gaining the entry, it will the food will start swallowing. So the food will start swallowing and it will become swallowed. It will become a inflamed area. So within this inflamed area, it will start forming abscess. So the, the abscess will form. Abscess means a wound with pus. So from these pus, it will start multiple nodules. So after gaining entry into the skin, it will start uh, having multiple nodules. So it will start growing within the foot and it will start generating multiple nodules with multiple sinuses. So from multiple sinuses, this uh, uh, purulent uh, fluid will start discharging from these nodules. So this is how the pathogenesis of mycetoma occurs. So the disease begins as a sub subcutaneous swelling, usually of food, which enlarges and borrows into deeper tissues, producing characteristic abscess. The abscess bursts with formation of chronic multiple sinuses, discharging viscid seropurulent fluid containing granules. So the color and consistency granules may vary depending upon the type of fungus uh, that is um, infecting the leg. So let us see the types of fungi present in mycetoma. Here we have two conditions. So first one is eumycetoma and second one is actinomycetoma. So what is the difference between eumycetoma and actinomycetoma means in actinomycetoma you will see brownish color granules whereas in eumycetoma you will see uh, thin filament granules, light colored granules. So eumycetoma is caused by Madurella my mycetomatis and your uh, pseudoshirella poidi. So Madurella mycetomatis is only one example is enough for eumycetoma. So eumycetoma is caused by Madurella mycetomatis and actinomycetoma is occurred by actinomadura madurae. So in eumycetoma, you will see black colored granules, whereas in actinomycetoma, you will see white to yellowish color granules. So depending upon the type of granules we are getting, we can able to uh, uh, pinpoint the type of uh, fungus that is infected to the person. So in eumycetoma, you can see here, it is uh, generally localized in the back side of the uh, hip, uh, in your, in your, uh, uh, the back side of your uh, uh, back. Whereas in actinomycetoma, it is usually confined to the foot. Okay, so what is the treatment for mycetoma? So the best treatment for mycetoma is usually responding well to 
sulfonamides. Sulfonamides and antibodies are the best choice for uh, mycetoma infection. So that is all about your mycetoma. Okay, so a quick revision about mycetoma. So mycetoma is a chronic granulomatous infection that is uh, confined to the subcutaneous subcutaneous layer of the food. So this is how your mycetoma looks like. So it was first discovered by Bill uh, by Gill in 1842 in Madurai, South India, and Carter uh, established the origin of this disease in 1860. So it is usually seen in tropical countries, very common in Tamil Nadu. So the pathogenesis include first the, the fungus will gain entry into the skin and skin will start swallowing. After swallowing, it will start producing multiple sinuses. From the multiple sinuses, it will start discharging purulent, seropurulent fluid. So that is the pathogenesis of this mycetoma. So there are two types of mycetoma infections, eumycetoma infection and actinomycetoma infection. Eumycetoma infection is caused by your Madurella mycetomitis, which is which will secrete a black color granules, whereas actinomycetoma is occurred by actinomadura madurae. So laboratory diagnosis include, uh, diagnosis made from uh, examination of granules. So the granules are composed of very thin, one micrometer in diameter filaments. Uh, which will show septa sometimes. So the treatment for mycetoma is treating with the sulfon sulfonamides and antibiotics, but mycotic mycetoma requires amputation. That means you need to remove that particular limb in order to save the person's life. So that is all about your mycetoma. So thank you very much students. I will see you in the next lecture.